certain appointment with God. Your appointment with God. May we just become still for a moment. Turning within. Releasing all the activities that might have occurred on this special day. This is my appointment with God. This is your appointment with your God. Our appointment with God this morning is to touch the hem of his garment for health. On last Sunday, I announced and asked you to join me in a health campaign. And I ask you to read from the November Daily Inspiration. Any time during the day or evening, any time you read, you will be in tune with some of us. And certainly, because there is a season for everything, it is the season for the weather to become what it is supposed to be. And because the weather is doing what it is supposed to do on time, it does not mean that you have to accept the belief or beliefs that they have placed in the universe. You don't have to have a C-O-L-D. You don't have to sneeze. You don't have to do any of that. And I want you to decide right here with your appointment with God that I am, I will be, I will continue to be what God created me to be. Perfect and whole. From your daily inspiration, page 20, you may follow along with me or you might do whatever, however you want to do it at this time. God is your health. And I want you to speak those words silently to a friend, a relative, or just to all of God's children. Those that are in hospitals and institutions, wherever you are this morning, we want you to know God is your health. God is your health. Let's just speak the word and remember there's power in your spoken word. God is your health. Together, please. God is your All right. My favorite healing statement is the statement that we have just spoken. It's my favorite because it helped me heal my own body. God is my health. I can't be sick. God is my health and God is perfect. And because of his perfection, and because I am all that God is, 
it is impossible for me to have any kind of disease. I'm here this morning to tell you that the same God is your health too. You can't be sick. I don't care what they may have told you. Change your mind right now. Change your mind right where you are seated, right now, right this moment, and say, God is my health. I can't be sick. I want to be sick. I deny it. I will not accept it. Get out of my mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for moving through me, all through my body. The Holy Spirit's moving in here. The Holy Spirit's moving. Is it possible to dim the lights just a little bit more? And I want you to open your eyes and I want you to look on this wall. It has been announced that Jesus visiting churches. Some of you have been able to see the silhouette. For Jesus has been in this church for the past month and a half. And many have seen him. And if you're not able to see him at this moment, just always remember when the lights are dim, look for him. Some are able to see it easily. Some must work with yourselves in order to see it. But I want you to know that he's in this very place. Acknowledge the master physician. Acknowledge Jesus. And not only see him on the wall or over by the tree of life, that's where he appears every Sunday, but feel Jesus, feel the presence, the healing presence that's moving through this place right now. I'm a witness. He's in this very place. Close your eyes for a moment and just let it happen. In the name and through the power that is in the name of Jesus, be thou made whole right where you are. God, God, God. Oh 
Yeah. 